hey guys welcome back to another video on email.js so in today's video we will be integrating email.js in our react application so let's get started so at first you will need to have a contact form in your react application this is how my contact form currently looks which has a name input email subject and message now if you do not have this contact form then you can go and create that contact form first or you can simply copy mine which i will show you now so this is a simple code for my contact form where i have created a contact us component which holds a contact form here which is pretty basic and you can simply copy it from here or you can just create your own now once we are done with creating a contact form we will now go to email.js website so in your browser just type in email.js.com now if you do not have email.js account then you have to create a new account but if you do you can just sign in so creating a new account is really simple you just have to click on create a free account and you just have to put in your email address and you'll be done in no time but i already have my account so i'll just sign in for now so once you are inside email.js, you will get to this space. What you have to do is at first add a new service. Now you can choose any of these services from here, but for this demonstration, we will be using Gmail. So I'll click on Gmail and we will be needing this service ID later on. So for now, we don't need this. So we'll leave it as it is. Next thing we need to do is connect account. So you click on connect account and you have to select whichever email account that you want to use for this service so you will be getting all the emails that you send from your react form in the email that you connect so i will select mine and continue you might be asked to give you permissions and all so you can do that and hit continue and your gmail will be connected create a new service and here you can see we have a new service added now once we have this service added we now need to go to email template so you will see this uh, blank page when you click on email template so what we need to do is create a new template and this template is what you will see in your email inbox let's create a new template you click on create template now in subject you can simply get rid of this and add subject because if you come back to your contact form you can see we have name as a subject so whatever name you have over here you can simply put that name in email js so for subject we will just put subject and you see a message by name so we don't have name we have something username so we have to type in username instead of name so to edit this you need to edit the content and over here you just type in user underscore name and in name we'll just put username we don't need this time and the message go back to your form check what's the name for message and it's message for subject it's subject for email it's user email now message is done done so you just apply the changes and to email will be your email which you just previously set up from name will be user name and reply to email will be user email and that's all your email template is all set up you can hit save so once we're done with the template we then now need to set up our auto reply template as well so to set up an auto reply template we need to create another template so let's go back to email templates create a new template and create a template so we'll give this subject as auto reply so this auto reply will be sent to the user whoever sent you the email so we'll get rid of everything so let's edit the content first get rid of this we'll just type in a custom auto reply message use shortly that's our auto reply message we apply the changes and we don't need this but you can just simply type in like your name and to email will be the user email so we want to send this auto reply to user email and from name code easy reply to will be user email and that's all we now save it so our auto reply template has been set up as well now once we are done setting up our email and auto reply template we now go back to our previous template click on auto reply and in this auto reply you select the auto reply template that we just set up and hit save again so that's it with your email js now we have to go and set this up in our react application so let's go to our project and at first we will import 
email js so simply type in import email js from at rate email js slash browser and you save it and let's come down to the terminal and over here you simply type in npm i at email js slash browser and hit enter so that we can use this email js feature and once this has been installed we will now create send email function so this send email function will send all the data from your contact form to email js and email js will send it back to your linked gmail so we'll create send email function and we will at first prevent the default to make sure that we don't submit the form now type in email js dot send form now here we will need service id your template template id you'll need your form values and need your public key now to get this all these ids you need to go back to your email js so your service id you can find from email services and click on the service that visa set up copy that service id come back to your visual studio and simply paste it here and for the template id we close this one go back to your email templates and we will be selecting the main template not the auto reply template so you select your main template sorry this one's the auto reply template so you select your main template go to settings and copy the template id from there come back and paste it here now your form values we will look into this a little bit later on but for the public key you simply go to your account here and in general you will see public key so you simply copy that public key and paste it here now the last thing to do is to add the form values now to add form values we'll be using use ref hook so first let's import use ref hook i will write const form use ref right now once we're done with that we will scroll down and in this form tag we will add the reference which will be our form whatever we named here will be your ref and we will also add on submit we call the send email function so this send email function is what we just defined here now for form values what we need to do is simply type in form dot current so that's how we access the values from all the input fields using use ref dot current so this current will get the values that's currently in the input fields so that's pretty much it for the setup now we need to do some extra things to make sure that we know if the email was sent successfully or it failed so for that we need to add dot then inside that dot then we add a callback function which will alert saying message sent successfully and we will reset the form values to empty if the message has been sent successfully and if for some reason there's any error we will handle that error as well by calling another callback function with alert saying fail to send message please try again we will and then we will log the error text so that's pretty much it for the setup now let's go to our contact form and test if this contact form is actually working so in the name i will write code easy email i'll just give test at test.com but you can type in your email address to make sure that you get the auto reply message as well and in subject we'll type in react email js set up and in messages we type in hello and submit now you can see we received messages sent successfully so you click ok we open our gmail and you can see here we just received a new email saying react email there set up as subject code easy whoever sent the email and a message by code easy has been received kindly response 
and the message is simply hello now we haven't received any auto reply because we did add some demo test email but if you want to see if the auto reply feature is working or not you can put the correct email address and test it out so that's it guys that's how you add email there service in your react application and send email i hope this video was helpful and you were able to set up your email service in your react application thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you in the next one